um, with Kevin Porter Jr. and this was somebody outside the organization. And, and I asked them point blank, I said, are the Cavs giving up on Kevin Porter Jr. too soon because of all the talent that he has? He said, look, Chris, even if KPJ gets right off the court and he matures and he makes better decisions and he regains the trust of the organization, he's so volatile and it's such a delicate situation with him that he's going to want the kind of minutes, he's going to want the kind of opportunities that he got at the end of his rookie season, and those simply aren't going to be there for him. Not after he missed you know, all of training camp in the beginning of the season, he was going to have to work his way into minutes, and suddenly those minutes were going to be taken by Dylan Windler and Torian Prince. And it's not like the Cavs chose Torian over KPJ. That's not what I'm saying, but the situation wasn't going to be the same for KPJ, and it wasn't going to be one that made him happy. So it was always going to be that balancing act um, with a volatile piece that was probably going to be unhappy with his particular role, and it was probably going to make for a bad situation. 